Hey, I thought I'd give you a quick tip on uh, lawnmower head gaskets. So it's pretty bad shape one here. Um, but I don't want to run out and buy another head gasket. So uh, what I do is I just get some uh, high temp uh, RTV. Hopefully this uh, this is still good. It's kind of old. I'll have to try to get, get it to come out. But all I do is I'll put some on here on both sides of this. And then we'll put it on the... Um, head and then bolt the head back on and they give you kind of like a new head gasket without using a new head gasket it should hold the seal um so as this quick tip maybe i'll show you what it looks like when as i go along okay uh here's all i did is i put it on there actually i got a little bit inside there shouldn't do that um so i just did both sides and uh i don't you don't want to like cake it on there you just want to put a thin layer on it and then when you bolt it on when it dries up It'll make that head gasket hold and help reinforce it because this head gasket's pretty well shot. But it's a quick way to get by and it, it'll work and last a long time. So next I'm just going to put this on the lawnmower and then put the bolts in, put it down and let it dry. So here I got the head gasket on. You can see uh, when you torque it down it'll kind of squish out a little bit. So um, I try not to get it too much near the inside of it but you're going to get some on there anyways. And uh, but it's pretty soft and it should just cook through the engine if you got any on the inside anyways. Um, and I'm really big on torque and stuff. And I uh, looked it up and I said these are 144 or 140 inch pounds. And uh, my torque wrench is in foot pounds so I just set it to 12 foot pounds. And that's about the same. I think that's 144 inch pounds. So and then you just want to torque in a cross pattern. And then uh, that's pretty much it. And that head gasket should hold up just fine. Uh, so all I got to do now is uh, see if I can get this thing to start. Uh, the reason why I had to change this out is somebody had stripped out the spark plug threads. And it was just cheaper to acquire another um, head than it was to put a tap tap kit in there. But and also there's another little tip on your RTV when you get done with it. Um, just squish it out to the tip here this is the old one when it dries you can just pull it out and then you just take a little screw in there to pop out the remaining of it and keeps your RTV lasting a long time hopefully this stuff will work I don't know if it's got a shelf life it probably does I've had this for a couple of years but uh, it should work anyways that's how you can uh, kind of like reuse your bad head gasket on a lawnmower I wouldn't do that on a car or anything like that alright got the lawnmower all put back together and uh got a new spark plug in there and uh, I just I torqued the spark plug down again these are aluminum parts uh, the torques on these things are really low I think it was like Briggs Stratton said I think 15 foot pounds I just did it to 20 um, which is nothing and this is I like my um, I just use one of these it's really fast you just torque it and I just I just did it to 20 should have gone to 15 but it's okay key is, is it's not over torquing it and you don't realize how light that is until you actually put a torque wrench on there and uh, you just go with this kind the torque wrench or with any one of them but with this dial one you just keep going until it stops slipping and then it'll hold the torque on you when I click one it'll kind of keep clicking um, actually a dial one's probably better on something like this because it's got a crush washer anyways let's try it out Kind of cheated already. Uh, primed it, started it one time. Ooh, kick up a lot of dust there. But uh, so it's working really good. Sounds really good too. Um, anyway, so I hope that helps somebody out.